Class 7 NCART English Honeycomb. Chapter 7 The Invention of Vita Wonk. By Roald Dahl from Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Before you read, who are the oldest people you know? What are the oldest things you have? 1. In your house, 2. In your city, town or village. How old are they? Have you ever wished that you were older? Have you wished that you could grow up in a hurry? Now, let's start. Mr. Willy Wonka begins by inventing Wonka wheat, which makes people younger. But Wonka wheat is too strong. So some people disappear, because their age becomes minus. One person actually becomes minus 87, which means he's got to wait 87 years before he can come back. Mr. Willy Wonka must invent a new thing. Part 1. Mr. Wonka said, so once again I rolled up my sleeves and set to work. Once again I squeezed my brain, searching for the new recipe. I had to create age, to make people old, old, older, oldest. Ha ha. I cried, for now the ideas were beginning to come. What is the oldest living thing in the world? What lives longer than anything else? A tree, Charlie said. Right you are, Charlie. But what kind of a tree? Not the Douglas fir. Not the oak. Not the cedar. No, no, my boy. It is a tree called the bristlecone pine that grows upon the slopes of Wheeler Peak in Nevada, USA. You can find bristlecone pines on Wheeler Peak today that are over 4,000 years old. This is fact, Charlie. Ask any dendrochronologist you like, and look that word up in the dictionary when you get home, will you please? So that started me off. I jumped into the great glass elevator and rushed all over the world collecting special items from the oldest living things. A pint of sap from a 4,000-year-old bristlecone pine. The toenail clippings from a 168-year-old Russian farmer called Petrovich Gregorovich. An egg laid by a 200-year-old tortoise belonging to the king of Tonga. The tail of a 51-year-old horse in Arabia. The whiskers of a 36-year-old cat called Crumpets. An old flea which had lived on Crumpets for 36 years. The tail of a 207-year-old giant rat from Tibet. The black teeth of a 97-year-old Grimalkan living in a cave on Mount Popocatpetl. The knuckle bones of a 700-year-old Catalu from Peru. Part 2. All over the world, Charlie, Mr. Wonka went on, I tracked down very old and ancient animals and took an important little bit of something from each one of them, a hair or an eyebrow or sometimes it was no more than an ounce or two of the jam scraped from between its toes while it was sleeping. I tracked down the whistle pig, the bobolink, the scrock, the poly frog, the giant curly cube, the stinging slug and the venomous squirrel who can spit poison right into your eye from 50 yards away. But there's no time to tell you about them all now, Charlie. Let me just say quickly that in the end, after lots of boiling and bubbling and mixing and testing in my inventing room, I produced one tiny cupful of oily black liquid and gave four drops of it to a brave 20-year-old Oompa Loompa volunteer to see what happened. What did happen? Charlie asked. It was fantastic, cried Mr. Wonka. The moment he swallowed it, he began wrinkling and shriveling up all over and his hair started dropping off and his teeth started falling out and, before I knew it, he had suddenly become an old fellow of 75. And thus, my dear Charlie, was Vita Wonk invented.